Am I mine? Today you are Mike for some reason. I, I have I have us recording. We're recording now. Welcome to the UX SIG. <laughs> okay. Um do you do you think it's better I hit record because I'm going to stay for more time? I'm, I didn't understand. Because you, you, you need to leave in uh, in ten minutes. And I oh, I will just it. I will just assign you as the uh, as the what do you call it, as the host if, if I have to leave early. All right. So yeah, we'll we'll repeat it this later. But uh, Mike and I, oh, Mark and I will probably need to leave uh, earlier today. Um, so we I can only do half an hour. Hi, Damian. Welcome to the UX SIG meeting. Happy to have you here. Um, so I don't think we should, we, without further ado, I think we should start. I was hoping, hopefully, Uli will join us um, while we are here. Okay, so, um, right. Agenda review. Um, so we are here. Uh, Damien, would you like to give a short introduction of yourself and your interest in this group? Uh, yes. So I'm I'm part of the Jenkins community team with Mark White and Olivier Vernon. And I'm I'm here uh, not as a member of the infrastructure team, but as a Jenkins user uh, because I'm interested in the uh, where the UX and UI is going. Uh, so I'm interested to you know, take knowledge and maybe try to participate in the uh, force in future. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and if we have time, I will because we need this. May we will be having of Harry. You were interested in talking about pipeline visualization. Yes, that is okay. correct. Okay, let's hope we we can get through all of this material quickly enough. So. Let's, uh, any other uh, agenda issues, uh, items somebody wants to include? Okay, let's, so let's go ahead. Um, first item, health check for the March LDS. We are here, we are releasing. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Uh, is there anything we should worry about? Any bug we should look at or anything? Uh, Tim, do you, do you have an idea or something we should be paying attention to? Uh, I think everything's merged. Um... We've got a few fixes merged recently. Um, we just need to create the release candidate soon, probably today, tomorrow. Um, yeah. At least need to need to do the backporting. Okay. I'm holding off, just waiting for the last fixes to get merged yesterday. Yeah. So so Tim, the the invalidate the site the data on site upgrade was was wonderful that you got that into two point two eighty. So the, my assumption is that will be included in the in the backports as well. Yeah, that's why I waited to do the backporting. Otherwise, I would have done it last week. I just wanted to get that in. Excellent. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tim. Okay. Uh, I see an entry for change of the great guy. Just a reminder that I've got to create it, and the sooner I create it, the healthier we all are because it gets more reviews more time to think about it and more time to clarify and correct it. So yeah, these ones to have to be about a... the time we get the release candidate out. But um, Tim, your thinking was release candidate is probably still a day or two away. So that's that's likely much faster than I can do the upgrade guide and the change log. That'll be like mid next week before I'm ready with it. Yeah, I mean, hoping to have the backporting PR today, hopefully. Um, and then yeah, ask so the, I'll say it's just whenever it's due, by I, next, due next week. But great, I definitely won't. If if I'm if I'm on the if I'm at speed, I will have the change log ready before next Wednesday, and that's that's my goal. Great, that would be great. Um, okay, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a tough change log because of the extreme Asegi security. I also do. It's going to be a tough one. So, yeah. So, number of open issues. Uh, tables to this. Um, let's open these here. Um, I'm happy to say that we are at Crowdbase. 
are working on fixing some plugins that some of the very high profile plugins that were left, such as Groovy, Git Parameter, um, uh, for example, Rebuild. I think uh, I also mentioned Groovy. So several of these, uh, we are uh, plot plugin, several of these high profile plugins, uh, we are working to fix them. Be good to update Jira because I know that um, Dario's done a PR for the which fixes plot. Be good to get that upda updated and synced back. And there's seen a few PRs go out. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, maybe we should regarding plot plugin. We, we, we should we can re-enable the deleted tests. I don't know. Um, yeah. The problem with plot is it's not really it's not maintained. Um, okay. And. It's, it's not a huge percentage of people using it and there's, there's no one maintaining it. Well, there is, but he replies every few months. Um, and okay. so that was part of the reason for removing it as well. It, it needs more users. Okay, I think, okay, I think we should follow up on multiple SCMs and TFS plugins because they think, I think they are a bit unmaintained at the moment. Multiple SCMs is deprecated. It's got a big, if you install it, you get a big warning in your Jenkins. I don't, know if it's worth I mean there is a PR for it but it was already broken partially broken before I touched it yeah multiple yeah. SCMs is is deprecated because pipeline is just a better way to do multiple SCMs we and we've had a better way to do it for years now so I, I'm not concerned about multiple SCMs okay yeah. okay great um so any more try I think we want to do <laughs> Great. So next uh, next topic, uh, an upgrade guide uh, should have pointers for custom plugins. Do you need any help for the uh, for this, Mark? I'll need reviewers once I've got it written, but it's usually most efficient if I do the writing first, try my best to have it good writing, and then we let the reviewers help make it even better. Uh, we, we will help you. Just ping us. Um, are there critical plugins that need a, that need a release and not a maintainer? Ah, so sorry, 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 sorry. Jenkins on my meetup. Uh, so, what was so I sent a proposal for that, didn't get a lot of feedback on it. I'm not sure that we've got the traction for it yet, but I still think it would be helpful a week or two prior to the release to, to do a meetup. But I'm okay if, if as a UX SIG, we say, nah, not really worth it. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. When, what, when is the meetup? Uh, it's not been scheduled yet. I just put out a proposal for it and was looking for feedback. So I, I, I don't think I've seen that proposal. Just I will ping you after this. I'll embed a, a link to it into the into the notes. Okay, great. Um, yeah, let's talk, we can talk about this offline. Um, okay, critical plugins that lack a maintainer. So TFS suspender but still has users. As as does multiple SCMs as, as much as it pains us. Um, publish over this is a tough pattern, the maintainership. Yeah. Any any comments on this? Any solutions? I do be honest, I don't have any comment on this. What's the Jenkins online made up? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so can we are we done talking in table studies? So actually yeah. on the GitLab yeah, yeah. plugin, we have an adopter now, or we've got somebody who's do driving it. towards getting a release. So I think it's the, the previous maintainer is trying to do a release just to unblock it. Right. Um, Mark he's had to step back. Uh, so okay. Yeah, Owen Mahegan. So, so there's there's progress there, and the progress is is positive. So, <laughs> it always is. <laughs> I think that's one of the bigger ones that does need releasing, but there could be more. Um, yeah, I try I tried to leave Jira with in review until it got released, rather than doing the resolved thing because I didn't think resolving them was very useful until they actually released. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it might be worth checking through some of them. I don't, I don't think it's too bad at the moment. Okay. 
Okay, so I will I will move on if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. So okay, iconography, retired material sprite. So um, I, a few month a month or two ago we talked about material icons. Um, well, basically to 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 give some updates to everybody. We well, a year ago when I started working on the UI revamp, we I sort of we well we sort of chose material icons because they they feel nice. Um, and I started using them as materials as SVG sprites because basically for our purposes there are two techniques that we can basically use to are usable, which are SVG sprites and an icon font. I was looking for, we have been using them for a while in quite some, a few icons, but I was looking yesterday at material icons repository and I don't see the sprites anymore. I see the raw SVGs, but building a sprite with all material icons, uh, it's, it's feasible for us to, if we want to keep continuing using these icons to build, a, to create a, a sprite for ourselves. A sprite is basically a SVG files that contains definitions for many SVGs, right? So it's feasible for us to start creating that sprite on demand. For example, I need a bell icon, like I add it to the sprite, but not having the whole, to continue to use the same technique, it will be very difficult to, to have the whole material icons available, which would be helpful if we could tell plugin developers Okay, you just use the some go to the material icons repository and look for an icon and use it. Another way would be using an icon font or just which would be cons consist of some little work uh, because uh, for what we are going to do next. Um, or just change to something like bootstrap. I don't know. So I want to raise this as a risk. Uh, this is a risk that the material sprites are, are, have been retired. And if we want a generic solution, for example, saying we have this list of icons, look for them in this place, we should consider moving on from the material SVG sprites and either creating uh, our own sprites or use an icon font. Which I, don't, I don't like that, but it's an alternative. Or just uh, use a bootstrap sprite. Uh, I want to raise this risk. I don't have the best idea of how to solve this. Uh, Uli Hafner, yeah, yeah, think, sorry. Uli, Uli Hafner have suggested many, many times to use Bootstrap here. So I know he, I think he would have told tell this if he was here. So that's why it was really interesting having him here. So yes, Tim, sorry. Yeah, so I was just gonna say, I, I tracked back where it was removed um, from the material icons repo back in, um August um last year. Um mm -hmm. it's been removed with a comment saying that um best to build exactly what you need. Um so they're not saying don't use sprites anymore, but they're not providing pre-built sprite sheets. Um mm -hmm. Uh, the problem of pre-building a sprite is that if we if we want all of the material icons, it's going to be tough, basically, and require lots of maintenance. Do we want all of them though? I don't know. Uh, wouldn't, it we depends just, if, wouldn't we just include what we need? It depends if you if we want to allow plugin developers to have uh, to use up the icons. If not, I will have absolutely no problem in building our own sprites. I will happily set up the toolchain. I have done it before and uh, created a sprite before. And it's very easy to do with Webpack. Uh, but if we, if we, yeah. I mean, it's fairly if common we, for plugin developers to provide their own icons as they need currently. I mean, if there's an appropriate one in a set, they can use it, but. Um, okay. it should just, it should just be, I think it should be documented how they can add their own ones, um, either to core for their general or to their own plugin. But I don't see any problem with um, include what you need. Okay, so what for me? <laughs> right. Um, what else? I agree with you there. I will try to explore this option. Uh, and this leads me so that we can use these icons on the next topic, ongoing iconography work. 
Uh, I meant to say Felix team, but the uh, full credit goes to team. Uh, this amazing PR. Um, I don't know what this is, uh, uh, hyperlink. So basically teams doing, I think we are really close to taking it out of draft status. Basically, uh, right now we have lots of changes for status icons with really nice animations and the uh, weather icons. And yeah, it's, yeah, we are getting it there. It's getting there. I see that the mark dropped. So I just wanted to give an update on that iconography. And yeah, but uh, Damien, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so, wait, sorry, uh, I was getting ahead of myself. Tim, is there anything you would like to mention about the iconography effort? Um, what's left on it? Um, for a first iteration, it really depends. I think right now we have a few icons. Uh, we have a few of the icons uh, migrated to the new ones. For example, this one, but we don't have folders. We don't have some of the others. And we have the weather and build icons and build status icons, which I think is uh, the most important. It really depends what we want to get merged. Not necessarily for the June release, because for the June release, we have the time to replace all the icons in the in time for the, for the June release. But what do we want? Uh, in time for the for for to, to get the PR match was the minimum support of iconography we want to get the PR going. I think it'd be good to try uh, one plugin with it um, and just mm -hmm. make sure that everything works. I, I I can't see why it wouldn't work, but it'd be just good to try update like the credentials plugin or something. Um, it's say credentials and warnings and G. Warnings and G provides uses bootstrap, uh, sorry, font awesome plugins, font awesome icons. Um, yeah. But credential does provide lots of custom icons indeed. Whichever one is easy. If if warnings and G's already got icons that just need to change to SVG, or no, warnings and G uses the. Uh, I think I think that's to to see that it works nice with. Uh, plugins that bring their own icons, but credentials is definitely the one that I think may be affected. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not sure if that's absolutely essential. At least on day one, we can always enhance that. But um, do you want, but one thing, do you want to have, for example, icons for all of these options, or are you happy to just go with, for example, up the magnifying glass? And the people one, and then progressively add the others. I, that's my, I, that's my question. I would, I, progressive, absolutely. I don't think. I think we've got more than we need for the first merge, to be honest. Uh, I think you're right. Uh, so I will help you unblock this, and let's see if we can get this out of draft that status next week. And maybe then we need to take a step back and work on the creating our um, setting up a toolchain for the materials threads. Yeah. And that's and that will sort of be the end of the my involvement here. Uh, on uh, maybe on my free time, I will be able to invest more time here on this one. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, Damien. Uh, let's. Uh, what do you want to share about pipeline visualization? Oh. Um, so uh, it, it's not something I want to share. Uh, it's more me trying to fill my knowledge. Uh, as a Jenkins user, I've been using uh, Glucian for some time now. And I would have wanted to know, I see that it's uh, the rate of changes on feature is very, very low since one year. So I would have wanted to know, given that the UX and UI effort on the community Jenkins have been done on the classical UI, like the table to div uh, immense amount of work. It looks like that. Um, the classic UI is gonna be is gonna stay or gonna be the main um, system. So, what would be the project to visualize the pipeline since Prussian has some nice feature that the classic UI don't have, and also there are some things missing. So that I don't know what what is the official direction if there are involvement required required from from contributor. I don't know what is the status. 
Um, there is an item on the roadmap for the roadmap for pipeline visualizations, but it's up to us as contributors basically right at the moment that I know of. Uh, there's a proof of concept for a, a pipeline graph done by Cliff Myers. It should the graph itself. And um, so I'm going to separate here two things, okay? List of builds, which I don't think there's a plan at the moment, open source um, in, in the OSS community, and pipeline and log visualization, which is the the the, the chart, the nice graph. The graph is is not difficult to migrate the graph uh, on Jenkins. Just I mean, and with the graph, I mean the graph itself, the JavaScript code. The problem is that we lack a, there's a lack of a single unified API uh, that allows me, for example, I did try, I did spend quite some time working with it and I couldn't find a way to have a, to look what API do I need to see to get the feed of, uh, of steps uh, to get, a, for example, a, a file stream for the log or for a, for a given step. Uh, so I think right now API support is the block. And okay. front end front end expertise, but front end expertise could be done little by little, but uh, without a work on the API, it's it's tough, it's tough. Okay, so what does it mean? Is it big, is it that the work is in progress and it's just a matter of time? Is it there might need some involvement from, we should you need mean, to search for I contributors. Mean, we need to search for contributors. Right now, I, as far as I know, there, nobody has been working on it other than uh, other than on Cliff Myers working on the POC for the background graph. It is on the Jenkins roadmap. It is on the roadmap, so I am assuming once other items get tackled that are first will get tackled on, there will be community involvement in that. Mm. But I add that that why I said something else. Okay, I might have read the roadmap too quickly. Um, please do. Uh, uh, because I wasn't able to find it on the on the roadmap. That's why I asked. Uh, I, I went here to ask. Pipeline entering pipeline yammer. I, I was not able to find information about this online on my own, so maybe I missed it. But uh, I had a um, question from, let's say, at least 14 different persons that are Jenkins user that I know in Europe that all asked me the same question and they were not able to find any information. So maybe the information is somewhere and it could be only yeah. pointing it. Yeah, I think it's not um, on the roadmap and it's only been in Gitter chats. Okay, I thought it was on the roadmap that Donald created uh, uh, half a year ago or so. Mm. Look and feel updates. No. Um, no, nothing really maps. Oh, UI interface rework. No, no, nothing really maps to it on the roadmap. No. I thought there was something. I really think there was something. Okay, I was mistaken then. No so, problem. so, any other it, questions? No, no, no. Is there anything uh, I can do to help this topic? I don't know. To be honest, look for contributors. <laughs> Okay. I I it, because it's a very very it's difficult work and it's quite some um, time consuming. So yeah, I can understand. My uh, I'm a multi CI system user, and a lot of the people are um, asking me that question have the same profile, meaning that they use both GitHub Actions. Most of the time, they use GitLab CI. They use Jenkins and maybe a fourth CI system. And each case, now almost all the other CI system they use, they now have a catch cooked, already cooked a train and they provide nice graph visualization. The last one being uh, GitLab uh, last month. So now Jenkins is 
back to be the, let's say, the, the last wagon of the train because the current visualization is not complete and blue ocean is quite buggy. So that's why I'm also really interested on searching for contributors and helping here because there is a really high value on the open source uh, system to be sure that we can provide a nice, nice look and feel to avoid people changing to other system, having to re rewrite all their pipeline and workflow just because they cannot access such a feature. That's why I'm, okay. it's really important for me as a user. Yeah, it's important for, uh, for all of us, I think. Uh, Tim just pasted on the chat a link to the, to the PO, uh, proof of concept by Cliff Myers. Uh, I'm going to hey, put thanks. in the meetings. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Uh, and I have a few, I have a branch on this to, to expand on it, but the blocker for was uh, API. Okay. Uh, okay. If there's anything, if there's nothing else, I would need to to stop recording and stop sharing because mm -hmm. I need to. Yeah, I need to. Okay. I would need to to quit. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else we want to mention? That's okay. Thanks for the clarifications and the meeting. Okay. If you search that link, you might find some more discussion. There was some discussion around the time, but I, don't know, I can't figure out how to search in Gitter. Yeah, you if yeah, look at Google, just do it and you can look for that on the Gitter history and you will see a screenshot or a even. Okay. If I can retrieve some of this information, I will try to, to do pull request on the red map then. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.